Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Shelly. Nice to meet you. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about how I do my makeup on a, uh, not on a daily basis. Every day I usually wear mascara, but this is how I would do my makeup if I wanted to look casual, but I also wanted to look like I put myself together. But anyways, if you're interested in the video, keep watching. Alright, first things first moisturizer. I use the Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer. I always just put this on all over my face. Dang it. I always put this on all over my face but I mainly focus it when I'm putting my makeup on I mainly just focus it underneath my eyes because it's just like sensitive skin right there. The next thing I do is foundation. I use the Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation and I usually just use this kind of as a foundation, but kind of as a concealer. I use my little, it's not a beauty blender, I think it's, crap, I forgot the brand, but I'll list it below. But I just put a little bit on my hand, and I just put some on my beauty blender, and I put a little bit under my eyes. Got to conceal it in bags. Then I got a little on my cheeks, because I've got some scars right here. my other cheek a little on my nose just a little I mean for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna put it kind of everywhere but usually I would focus it under my eyes and on my cheeks now I'm gonna go in with powder <clears throat> for the powder, I use Tarte, and then I just use this regular e.l.f. brush that I just got from CVS. Um, this powder, we just need to talk about this for a second. This is the best powder ever. You literally don't even need foundation when you have this powder because it has just like a coverage. Usually people use powder just to make it, just to make their skin matte, but this is, could be your foundation really. Um, but I just put this right up underneath my eyes. I mean, I'm going to put this all over my face, but definitely focus it underneath the eyes because you don't want to see them dark circles. That just ain't cute, and you can just lose friends that way. So I'm just going to put this kind of all over my face. This might be a little bit too dark for me. I can't really tell. But I use it anyway because I really don't care. Now, oh, shoot. Now it's time for bronzer, and for bronzer, I use the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and I just use this random brush. I don't even know what it's by, but I need a new one. Look how bad that is. And I barely have any of this stuff left. This is the best, blah, 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 the best bronzer ever. So I'm just going to focus the bronzer. I mean, I put a bronzer everywhere, let's be completely honest, but definitely focus it at the top of forehead. And your cheekbones. And blend it into your neck because no one wants that line. That line right there. That just ain't cute. And then I just go all over my face because, you know, bronzer is necessary all over your face. Much rather look like a Oompa Loompa than a ghost. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now blush. And I just use the Clinique. I mean, I have literally one tiny dot of that left. Do you see? It's like nothing. So I'm just going to... Oh, I just lost it. It's okay. I'm just going to put what I have left on my brush on my face. Okay, and I don't do this part every day, but if you want to get crazy with it, you can do this part. Now, I'm terrible at makeup, and I do this all the time. I'm bad at eyeshadow, but this is something that I feel like people can do. People can actually do it. So, I just take, like, a random eyeshadow brush. I'm pretty sure I just found this in my drawer. Like, it's not even a decent brush. And I just take my bronzer, the Hula Benefit bronzer that I just used, and I just put some on this brush, 
and I just put it all over my eyelid, my crease, everywhere. I just put it all over my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. What is this thing called? Eyelid. That's it. And I just put it all over it. And you don't have to do this. I don't do this every day. But sometimes I like to spice it up a little bit. And then if you really want to spice it up, you can take a little bit more and bring it right down underneath your lash line. And it takes no skill to do this. Like, I'm not skilled in the makeup department, but I do this all the time. Girl. Okay, last but not least, this is my favorite part of the whole thing. I just got this tonight, actually. I had, this is my old one, and so I got this new one tonight because, wait, no, this is my old one. This is my new one. I got this one tonight. <clears throat> but, um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous in Carbon Black Mascara. I got it from CVS. It's like, well, I thought it was like $6, but I think it was like 8 or $9. I can't remember. But, I mean, it's pretty cheap. It's local. You don't have to go anywhere crazy to get this mascara. And it is the bomb. You have to buy it. It's like, it makes your lashes look long. It doesn't make them look clumpy. And you can't beat the price, really. I mean, a lot of people go to, like, Sephora or Ulta and get a really expensive mascara and it's just not necessary. I think some things are necessary to get a little bit higher end than CVS, but not everything. I mean, I have I have a lot of drugstore stuff. And mascara is one of those things that like I genuinely care about. And oops. And CVS just does it like they come through with the mascara, seriously. Really anything from there works. Like, Maybelline, anything like that works. And I like to do a lot of coats of this because your eyelashes are the most important out of all your makeup, in my opinion. And I'm really just, like, coating this so much just because I like to make sure all my eyelashes are separated. I mean, if they look a little spattery, it's not that bad. JK. <clears throat> this part might be a little bit unnecessary, but for me, I think it's necessary. I usually just take a Q-tip, and I get it wet, and I just run through my eye... Freak, what are these called? Eyebrows. I run through my eyebrows with the wet Q-tip just because I want to get any excess makeup that I got off my, on my face out of my eyebrows. See, it's like orange from where I got makeup in there. And no one wants makeup just chilling in their eyebrows. Which if you if you do your eyebrows, then I guess it wouldn't really matter because you would fix them anyway. But for me, I don't fix my eyebrows. So it's necessary to get all that extra makeup out of there. Sometimes I just lick my fingers and do it. I'm going to be completely honest. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. I know I'm not good at makeup. Not really. This is just what I do sometimes when I want to look casual, but also want to look like I fix myself. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Please subscribe, like the video, comment if you want me to do something else. I got a lot of requests to do this video. People messaged me to do it, so I figured, got to give the people what they want. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I love y'all.